At number 14 on the iconic 100 list is the Mickey Mantle True Rookie Card, the 1951 Bowman card. And we brought in today an owner of this card, Jeremy Lee from Sports Cards Live, to talk to us about where it is on the list and maybe a couple of things about why it's such a great card. Jeremy, what's your initial impression about number 14 on the Mickey Mantle rookie card? I'm pleased to see it so high, uh, you know, especially I, I, I have some bias. I own a copy of the card. And um, the reason why I'm pleased is because it has competition being the, the 52 tops card, which came out, you know, a year later, as far as the, the, the way these cards are, are described. And really the 52 tops card, which I know is going to be a, a top it has to be a top one, two, or three card on this list when all is said and done. Um, and I don't have any insight into where it ends, but I know it's up there. It's nice to see that the 51 Bowman, which is often kind of a, a second thought to a lot of people because that 52 tops is the one that everybody covets. But the fact of the matter is, as you mentioned in the opening there, Adam, the 51 Bowman is his one and only true rookie card. And Let's face it, and I'll show, I have a copy. I've had it for a long time. I'll tell a bit about that, but it's a beautiful piece in its own beautiful right. Part. It's it's no slouch when it comes to the aesthetics and the art, the artistic perspective of it. I mean, just look at how gorgeous it is. He's in, in the swinging pose. It's got the nice clouds and sky in the background, his name in that black box up there. I love, I love the card. And, you know... So 14 is a good place for it because even though I love the card, it's his one and only true rookie. I recognize how important and iconic the 52 tops card is. It's a bigger card. It's a nicer card. It, it, it's, it's one of those images to me, to me, that card is number one. So if the, if the 52 tops ends up anywhere, but number one, I'm going to think that the list might need a bit of work, you know, at some point in time, or maybe in the future <laughs> to me, his 52. So, so the fact that 51 Bowman, got such a at number 14 because it is often an afterthought for people i'm pleased to see it that up that high awesome well just so you know i had this card um at number seven um on on the list and you had it at number 10 so you and i were re really were really pretty close here um as as you know we were ranking the card and then we both ended up pretty close to to where it finished we've just seen the kobe bryant tops and tops chrome come off the list and we've seen the Kareem Abdul-Jabbar rookie card come off the list. And some of these really important, you know, Joe Montana, the Bill Russell, the Charizard, <laughs> some of these really important and recognizable cards. But to me, what, what this placement on the list represents is Mickey Mantle is the icon, right? He is, as far as athletes go, he is the definition of iconic in terms of, you know, specimens, people who could be on cards. And then this is probably his second most iconic and most important card. I actually owned, I don't, I don't know if I've told you this before. I owned this card back around 2008 and uh, it was before I only was into basketball. Um, and and I, basketball is really like the love of my life. But when you talk about vintage baseball, like it's, it's Mickey Mantle. We've had some people who have been upset that baseball hasn't had as much representation as they'd like. It covers, you know, over a third of the list. There's, there's a lot of baseball cards that are on this list. Um, and, but I get why people feel that way. It's because baseball is collecting, right? It's, it's a huge, it's a huge thing. The, the thing that's, the thing that's clear to me is seeing Mickey Mantle this high, as opposed to some of the cards that people feel like have gotten a little bit disrespected. Some of the, the pre-war cards, you know, Mickey Mantle at this point is really the name. He's, he's the guy in baseball. And so for him to have two top 14 cards, you know, spoiler alert, Jeremy's right. The 52 tops card is going to be on the list sometime in the next 13 spots. We'll see where we'll see if it's, if it's number one, like Jeremy said, or if it's in the top three or where it lands. But, but I agree with you, Jeremy. I think this is a great placement for it. I would like to see it a little bit higher. And I know there's basketball guys that feel like it's too high, but it is what it is. That's what that's what the beauty of having 150 people pulled on it uh, is. You know that that's that's where it lands, and I think it's about right. What what things about this card, Jeremy? Would you think people should should look at as they consider, uh, you know, trying to find a copy? What things should they know about the card? Yeah, it's 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 going to be the usual things for this card. It's going to be centering, of course. It's going to be surface blemishes. It's going to be print quality fading over time. 
uh, fish eyes, you know, ver on various locations of the card, um, any print, print errors, print defects, I guess you could say. Those are the things staining on the back, a common on cards from, from this era. Um, that's what I would look for. One thing I just want to also mention, Adam, is that, you know, society evolves. You know, baseball collectors might be a little bit upset that there's only a third uh, baseball on the top iconic 100 list, but things change that, you know, 20 years ago, sure, that's the case. It's not the case anymore. Basketball has well surpassed baseball in terms of the, the volume of collecting. You can see it on, on gem rate as far as what's being submitted to grading companies. So I think that's a bit of a dated position mm -hmm. and we have to keep with the times and we have to keep evolving just as everything else around us does, including hobby, including preferences. So I think that a third might actually be heavy for baseball. And, uh, and, and I think it's, I think it's heavy or about right for where we are today. I appreciate that perspective. Um, people are going to have different thoughts. Some people are going to feel great about it. Some people are going to feel bad, but again, that's the beauty of having 150 really smart people say, this is what I think, because when you look at it in the end, you sort of go, well, that makes sense. And I agree with you that this makes sense on the list. Tomorrow we'll be back with card number 13. And until then, happy collecting.